This is wonderful. I love coming to the art gallery, don't you? Yes, there's so much to see. Huh? I'm sure that I can smell fresh paint. But that's impossible. These are all old masterpieces. You're just imagining things. I guess so. <laughs> What's going on? Huh? It's the Mona Lisa! But how on earth did it get here? <clears throat> the South India Trading Company has the power to make anything and everything possible, young man. Who are you? I am the manager of the South India Trading Company. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. As a token of our gratitude to the people of California for our great success here, we, the South India Trading Company, wish to offer these great works of art at bargain prices. Oh. If you find something that you may wish to buy, please come and see me. I will be very happy to offer you our best deal. Look around and make your choice. Oh, yeah. oh, look at this one, Diego. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's wonderful. Are you going to buy it? Do you think I really could? Haha, <laughs> you have great taste. This is a Goya, a most popular artist in Spain. I would ask 100 gold coins for such a fine work, but to you I will sell for 50. 50 gold coins? Oh. <laughs> Don't look at me! I won't be able to hold that price for long. It's the bargain of a lifetime. I tell you what, why don't you ask your parents for the money? Oh, Diego, I must have it. Come on, Figaro, you ready? Back! Huh? Oh no, Figaro, what are you doing? That doesn't look much like a stick to me. Help! Help! Somebody help me! Oh. Someone's in trouble! Oh, whoa! No, no! Somebody help me out of here, will you? What do you think you're doing? Huh? Don't you stand there, boy. Help me out, why don't you? What happened to you, old man? Don't ask stupid questions, boy. Just help me hide somewhere now. Quickly. What? Oh, I can hear them coming quick into the bushes. Where is that old fool got to? Search the area, all of you. He must be around here somewhere. Look at those reeds over there. Oh, take it easy, boy. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. What's wrong? Oh. Oh. Well, they're gone. Uh huh. Why are you running from them? I'm hungry. You got anything to eat, young man? What? Girl, you know her, hmm? Sylvia. Sylvia. Uh... Oh, yeah. I think that's the name of the girl who just moved into town. I knew she was here. Are you looking for her, old man? What? What are you calling an old man? I'm as fit as a fiddle. Look. Hep. Two. Hep. Two. Hep. Two. Ow. Ooh. Hey, mind you don't strain yourself, Granddad. Ah, oh, shut up. Just show a little respect for your elders, huh? Oh, yeah? I thought you just told me that you weren't an old man. Enough of your cheek. Go and get me some more food. Who does he think he is anyway? Treat me like a servant. Huh? Diego! Did you enjoy the art exhibition, huh? Yeah, it was great, Bernard. You should have come with us. I think you would have enjoyed yourself. No, I don't think so, Diego. Not really. Anyway, I've been helping an old man who's in trouble. What kind of trouble? He's in here. Huh? Where's he gone? Look, Diego, that's the old man. Are you sure? Absolutely. Hey, Diego. Huh? Oh, no, he was the one chasing the old man. Hey? Ah, Diego, 
Did you go to the South India Trading Company's art exhibition today? Yes. I went there too, a most fascinating collection of paintings. Wouldn't you agree, huh? Sergeant, what was this man's crime? He is a thief. His name's Rodrigo. He stole valuable works of art from the South India Trading Company and now he's on the run. What? That old man? <laughs> Do you know this man? Oh, uh, me? Uh, uh, no. Diego, this is Mr. Ponsaro, head of security for the South India Trading Company, helping me in the search for this desperate criminal, Rodrigo. As you can see, there is a handsome reward for his capture. If you find him, the money is all yours. Come on, Sergeant, there is no time to waste. Uh, uh, let's go! Uh, yes, of course, sir. Ha! Who does he think he is anyway? Bernard, how can you be so sure that Rodrigo is not the thief, huh? No, he was a bit strange, but he didn't seem like the type of man who'd steal. There must be something going on. Didn't he say he was looking for a girl named Sylvia? Let's see if we can find her. Maybe she has the answer. Here? I think so. They've only just moved into town. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? My name is Don Diego Vega. And I'm Bernard. Oh, hello. I'm pleased to meet you. Is Sylvia home? Sylvia, did you say? Uh... Yes. Here I am. Sylvia. Ah, hello, young lady. How are you? Fine. Do you like my little dolly? Uh-huh. Press her dummy with your finger. What, like this? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, Sylvia, don't do things like that. Very funny. What did you say? Oh, nothing. Forget it. Has a strange old man with a beard been here to see you? Huh? Hmm. Oh. What's the matter with her? What did you have to come here for, huh? We're sorry. We only wanted to know if the old man had been to see her. We don't know any old man. Now, will you kindly leave us alone? Oh. Huh? huh? Sergeant Gonzalez? What are you doing here, Diego? Nothing, Sergeant. How dare you? Get out! Rodrigo must be here somewhere. Rodrigo? Who's he? Don't play games with us. We know he must be here somewhere. Yeah, come on, tell us where he's hiding. Ah! Why, I'll show you. No. Come, come here. Run, come Sylvia, here. run! Come here. Is she the one? What's going uh, on, Sergeant? We were given information that the old man would be hiding here. Yes, he came to see the child. <laughs> Sylvia, run away! <gasps> and where do you think you're going? <laughs> oh, let me go! Sylvia! Oh, please, please, don't hurt her! The little girl is not your child, is she? Then why do you try to protect her? We know she is Rodrigo's granddaughter. Now, where is he? Sergeant, uh, are you going to let them get away with this? Uh, you should not be so rough with the child, Mr. Pansaro. Are you trying to defend those who would shelter a criminal, uh, huh? No, no, I didn't mean that at all, sir. <laughs> you just let her go! You keep out of this. It's none of your business. We are here on the express orders of Commander Raymond, okay? Okay, I give up. I knew you were hiding somewhere. I won't try to escape. So let the child go. Oh, man. Oh, Rodrigo. Hold on. Where are you taking her? He won't try to escape while I have his granddaughter. No! Sylvia! Sergeant. Sergeant, are you just going to let him take Sylvia? I don't see what I can do. It's none of my business. Sylvia! Grandpa! Grandpa, I'm coming with you. I won't leave you. <laughs> Sylvia! Anita! Juan! What's happened? They've taken Rodrigo and Sylvia away! Then I'm too late. I have the tickets for the passage home. Please, I know it's not my business, but would you tell me why they've taken Sylvia and Rodrigo away? What? Who are you? An artist? 
That old man? That would explain all that paint on his clothes. But he hasn't painted anything since his son and daughter-in-law were killed in an accident. And he borrowed money from the South India Trading Company. Yes, but the company charged such a high interest on his loan that he found he couldn't pay them back. So they forced him to come to California and work for them against his will. Sylvia is his only granddaughter. We were taking care of her for him. Now we have come here to take Mr. Rodrigo back to Spain with us. But we have failed. <laughs> he must have been forced to do some terrible things to run away like that, Diego. Yeah. At last we found him and I bought tickets for us all to sail back to Spain. But now we've lost Sylvia as well. Don't worry, Zorro will help them, you'll see. Zorro, yes, I've heard of this man. Do you think he would be willing to help us? Oh, Juan, I hope so. But where on earth can we find him? No one knows who he really is or where he comes from. I'm sure he'll help you. Huh? huh? Zorro is the friend of people in trouble. Who knows, he may have already heard about your problem. Uh-huh. Have no fear. His sword is always ready to fight against injustice. Ah, I see you have caught our fugitive. Yes, and we have his granddaughter as well this time. He'll think twice about running away again. Excellent. You have done well, Mr. Ponsaro. Put him back to work immediately. The fools that live in this town know nothing about art. We can make an absolute fortune. There's nothing to stop us. We will be rich. Yes. <laughs> Come with me, Bernard. We'll have to find them quickly, Diego. We can't waste time walking around looking at pictures. We have a job to do. We must expose the wickedness behind the South India Trading Company. Wickedness? Why do you think they need an old man like Rodrigo, Bernard? Can't you smell the paint? Smell the paint? Do you see what I mean, Bernard? Yeah, this one looks like it's only just been painted. Look, here. The paint hasn't had time to dry yet. What are you doing? Huh? Visitors are not allowed to touch the exhibits at any time. We're sorry. We only wanted to take a closer look, that's all. We're just leaving. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Huh? It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, if you see anything else you like, I'm sure we can agree a prize. Lolita! Lolita! Hello, Diego. What brings you here? Did you buy that painting? Yes, I asked my father to buy it for me. <laughs> it was pretty expensive, but anything for my little girl. <laughs> it's an investment. May I see it, Lolita? My painting? Diego. Hmm? Let's get out of here. Careful, Diego, you'll damage it. Don't spoil it. It's worth a lot of money, Diego. Aha! Huh? What are you going to do? Look! The old man's signature! What is the meaning of this, Diego? The name! Huh? Rodrigo? Who is he? The man who painted this picture. Uh, impossible! This was painted by Goya. He was a famous artist. This is a fake. It oh. can't be! What is the meaning of this? I bought this painting in good faith, believing it to be an original by Goya. And now I'm told this fellow Rodrigo is forced to do this by you. Is that what you do, manufacture fakes? Is it really a fake? I'm dreadfully sorry. I had no idea there was a fake in our collection, Don Carlos. We will surely return the money to you. You bet. Do you know this man, Rodrigo? Has he painted for you? I do not know of any Rodrigo in our company, but Mr. Pansaro will double-check our collection for any further forgeries. <laughs> Go. Yes, sir. Uh, we must thank you, young lady, for bringing this matter to our attention. I assure you I had no idea that a forgery existed, and I regret any inconvenience caused to you. Please accept this gift as a token of our thanks with our apologies. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Yes, a rare piece. Finest Chinese porcelain. Father! May I ask a favor in return? Huh? Our credibility is of great importance to us. I would appreciate it if you would not let this thing get around. Rumors have a nasty way of spreading, and we do not wish to be judged unfairly.
They're moving him. Let's go. Rodrigo, why have you stopped painting? Get on with it, will you? <coughs> Hurry up! That painting is needed at the gallery. I just can't do it! What? I just can't go on painting these forgeries anymore. You must, you old fool. If you're so clever, then you do it. I've had enough. <coughs> right, you! <coughs> Don't you be rude to my grandfather. <laughs> At least she's taking your mind off your athlete's foot. I'll give you athlete's foot. Just try it, you oak. What happened? The old man says he won't pay for us anymore, sir. I will not put brush to canvas for you or that blood sucker Pedro ever again. I'd rather die first. So be it. Prepare to die, old man. What? No. You have made fools of us. Our business is ruined because of you. All the paintings you have done for us are now worthless. Ha! Huh. Don't you know all artists sign their names somewhere, you stupid ape? You have signed your own death warrant. No one must ever know of our involvement in this, so you must die! Oh! My back! Please have mercy on a poor old man. It's too late to beg for your life now, Rodrigo! You can paint the angels in heaven. Uh. <laughs> Leave my grandpa alone! Ah. Enough! Ah. Ah. You mustn't be mean to little girls. We'll see about that. Ah. Huh? Huh? You forced this man, Rodrigo, to deceive people for your own personal gain. You even kidnapped a child. Ah! Who is he? Step ah. forward so I can see you! You also tried to kill him to hide your crimes, and this I cannot forgive. Now you will answer to me, you villain. Look out behind you! Ah! <laughs> Get in here, you fool, so you can help me! Hey. I think you'll find they're all asleep. Ah. So! Ah. Go on! Ah. Ah. Do it, yay! That's ah. it! Go on! Do ah. it, yeah. ah. yay! Yay! Ah. 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 Yeah! 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 No! Drop your weapon. What's the matter, Master Man? Don't you care if she lives or dies? All right, you win. Good. That's good. Grandpa! Grandpa! Sylvia! Give up on sorrow. It's over. Grandpa! Sylvia! Rodrigo, Anita, and Juan are waiting for you at the port. They have tickets for you all to sail back to Spain. I hope this has taught you a lesson. Be more careful in future. Yes, I will, but I'm not ready to go home yet. I have something I must do first. Hmm? Some unfinished business I must attend to before I leave. Will you help me, Zaro? Goodbye. Thank you again, Zaro. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Look. I'll miss him, but he certainly caused a lot of trouble while he was here. Mr. Petro. Mr. Petro. Mm -hmm. Oh, what has happened? Oh no. Oh. 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 
Uh, Mr. Petro! Sergeant Gonzalez! Well, look what has happened here. This is terrible. Who could have done such a thing? I hold you personally responsible. I want these criminals brought to justice immediately. Do you hear me? You are under arrest, Mr. Petro. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, under arrest? Your accomplices have confessed to everything. You are the mastermind behind these forgeries. No, I had nothing to do with it. It's true. I know nothing. They made me do it. Believe me, Sergeant, I know nothing. Come quietly, Mr. Petro. The game is up. Uh, Take uh, him away. I, you're making a big mistake. I'm completely innocent. Listen to me. It was Alfonsaro's idea. I had no choice. I'm innocent, I tell you. Let me go. I know nothing. In the next exciting episode of Zorro, there's trouble in San Tasco. Thugs from the Teodoro Finance Company are bullying a young girl called Sella, demanding extortionate interest rates. She just can't pay. Lucky for her, Gonzalez comes to the rescue. Will the moneylenders get their just desserts? Could this be love at last for poor Gonzalez? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Zorro!